other side of this wall. And most of the stuff lasts five, about 25 years. Wow. And if, you know, if you're going to college or something, and mom and dad can't give you money, then, you know, in an emergency, you have a way to get food. You can put it underneath your bed. Mm. If you have, and you can buy one can. I like the dehydrated onion, so I buy one can mm. a year. But you can buy can, uh, pancake mix and canned milk, and then you have enough to you know, make some milk to drink and some milk to make pancakes. You know, so there, and there's all different kinds of stuff that you can buy. Just put it underneath your bed and, and save it. Okay? School, kids from then, autistic. Hey, guys. Listen. Autistic kids have to make potatoes. Otherwise, we have, we have uh, people that have to do it. Okay? Uh, laundry detergents, nice. all of that. We manufacture that. We have a way. If you go up to Hill Air Force Base, and you see, because if you turn those machines off, you've got to climb in there and clean all that dough because it hardens. So it runs 24-7. And we make all the pasta from the United States, Mexico, and South America. Oh, wow. A lot of pasta. So we used to make lasagna, but we don't, we don't have enough time. We have too many demands for it. Come on, guys. Ay, ipakita ng gitak ko nga freezer. Freezer yan. Malaki yan. You got a freezer this big at home? We wish. Ooh, look at that. Wow. It's so cold in here. Sometimes it snows. Oh. Tio, Tio. Just there. Just be careful. The floor is frozen. Imagine mo ikunong pa sa loob yan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all we have. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, this side is all me. Ice cream. That's a huge freezer. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Okay. We have a little college down the street that gives us ice cream. Does anybody know what that little college is? BYU. BYU. It's 35 degrees below zero. Yeah. So, um, Oh my gosh. The only storehouse that has ice cream. Ooh. So shot. Okay, that's the best part. Hey right, guys, guys, it's gonna close. Ooh. Wow. That's the best part. Okay, this is our pressure. We do about 90,000 pounds of cardboard a year. Keep touching me. La, okay. Let's see. The green.
Okay, there's another one. Emrys. Okay, this is our work area, and during the week there are people in here that are doing apples and oranges and whatever else we need, onions and broccoli, every day except for Sunday and Friday, somebody's doing something back here. We do the majority of it because we do a production line. You saw how, you know, yeah. people were bagging, people were weighing, people were stealing, people were boxing. So that's our production line. And then we have people doing broccoli. We had people, or before you came in, they were doing tomatoes and onions. And you figure that you guys came at eight o'clock. Oranges, broccoli, I think there were eight or nine boxes of broccoli. I don't know how many tomatoes, but there were six and onions. onions. And all wow. Yeah. We did good. In less than two hours. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I have such good volunteers. Oh. They come in. And I appreciate my volunteers. Every one of them. My youngest volunteer was three, and her and her mom were together. So, and I had one man come in, and he was sitting in the back, and he was just sitting there. And I said, Are you okay? He said he had just recovered from a heart attack. Ooh. Think, oh, yeah. <laughs> but we, at that time, we were stacking the. Uh, potato boxes a certain way and I asked him to do that. Just make sure that they were stacked. He said sure. So I try to find a job for everybody. Yeah. You know, no matter what. I see you brought a hurt hand and you were lifting boxes. Yeah. It's a, it's a burn. Oh. Yeah. That's no fun. <laughs> My ex-husband spent five, uh, 10 gallons of hot tar on himself. Oh. So, Ooh. Uh, burns are not nice. Oh so, my gosh. you know, I can't do this all by myself. So Sunset Dion. I depend on my volunteers. Dion Emerson. All ages. So, Sister Stone, how long have you been volunteering here? This starts my 11th year. Wow. Because I remember I met your granddaughter. Because yeah. you also have your granddaughter who comes here all the time. Yeah. yeah. They're having some marital problems. So, oh. she wants to come like that. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I appreciate you if you'll sign out. 